Well, let's think about it. Today, America has more than half a million miles of transmission lines, enough to wrap around the globe 24 times. These lines connect the power plants where electricity is created to homes and businesses and schools and hospitals across our nation. Think about it, every time you turn on a light or charge your laptop or plug in your air conditioner or put leftovers in the fridge, you rely on the power delivered by our nation's network of transmission lines. And that network is in desperate need of an upgrade. So America is at the start of an historic transition away from fossil fuel plants that pollute our communities and toward cleaner and safer energy sources. Today, on the plains of Kansas, off the shores of New York, and in the deserts of Arizona, our nation is building new sources of energy. In particular, new wind and solar farms, which generate clean power for millions of families. But there's a challenge. Those wind and solar farms are often far away from the communities that they power. In many cases, the infrastructure we I have a big update to inform you about this Sunday. President Biden has a new announcement for the American people. In regards to inflation relief, it has been confirmed that some low-income households will be able to claim hundreds of dollars extra to help with cost of everyday necessities. States are offering as much as $1,000 to many families and seniors. My friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video to see if you qualify. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community and joining me here every day, I will be giving away Walmart gift cards every week. If you would like to enter next Friday's giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances, my friends, of winning these giveaways. Millions of families across the country are anticipating the upcoming tax season. Many families are expecting refunds to help bridge financial gaps. They're also hoping for a revival of President Biden's expanded child tax credit. Unfortunately, Senate Democrat Joe Manchin, along with Republicans, blocked the extension of the tax credit in late 2022. But economists have confirmed that inflation is continuing to increase the cost of living. Our current economy is experiencing an increase in the cost of housing, education, and everyday groceries like bread, eggs, and milk. While people with higher incomes may weather this period more successfully, working families, especially early childhood educators, are teetering on the brink of disaster. Several advocacy groups for the expanded child tax credit have told CNN News, in one of the richest nations in the world, there is more than enough for everyone. Change is not impossible. The expanded child tax credit was part of President Biden's Help is Here American Rescue Plan Act. For all working families, it sent direct deposits between $3,000 to $3,600 per child. It lifted families out of poverty. Relatedly, in 2021, the U.S. Census Bureau noted a decline in childhood poverty, and the decline coincided with the child tax credit distribution. It helped 61 million U.S. children and 36 million households across our nation. As Americans prepare for the upcoming tax season, the IRS has made several changes to various tax credits and incentives. Credits like the child tax credit, earned income tax credit, and the child and dependent care credit are dropping back to 2019 levels. This may mean that you will receive less of a refund this tax year. So friends, it is important to understand the new tax credit amounts so you can prepare. 
If you receive $3,600 per dependent child under five years old and $3,000 per dependent child between the ages of six and 17 in 2021, you will now only receive $2,000 per child. Also, for the 2022 tax year, the age limit to qualify for the child tax credit drops back down to 16 years old. Since no advanced child tax credit was distributed last year, the amount of the credit you can claim on your 2022 income tax return may be greater than it was during the 2021 tax season if you still have children under 17. In the 2021 tax year, eligible taxpayers with no children received an enhanced earned income tax credit of $1,500 this tax year that amount drops back down to $500. So the maximum amount that taxpayers can claim for child or dependent care credit for 2022 drops back down to $2,100 from $8,000 in 2021. So friends, President Biden is continuing this year with approval ratings that are close to the lowest levels seen in his presidency. A poll that was recently taken showed that 40% of Americans approved of Biden's job performance. It was a point higher than last month's survey, but low enough to stir angst among Democrats ready for a 2024 re-election signal from President Biden that is expected to come after the State of the Union address. President Biden's approval ratings fall between those seen by his immediate predecessors. In his third year of his presidency, Obama's approval rating hovered around 44%. Obama went on to win re-election relatively easily over Republican nominee Mitt Romney. The White House is dealing with a new issue, the discovery of classified documents from President Biden's time as vice president. Some were found at his residence and some at his former office in Washington, D.C. Biden's aides have shrugged off political worries about the controversy, while noting that the White House Office of Counsel notified the National Archives of the discovery immediately. According to The Hill, Democrats have also suggested the public is more focused on the economy and pocketbook issues than the documents that were found. So dear friends, how do you think that President Biden is doing as U.S. President? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. My amazing and wonderful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this morning. My friends, thank you so much for being here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and show my appreciation, I'm doing weekly giveaways. Please make sure that you enter the giveaway, which is scheduled for next Friday. All you have to do, friends, is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos, friends, that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed weekend.